Hello everybody, welcome back to episode number 11 of the coding tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at how to change one of our messages to our new config file that we created in episode number 10. Um, I'm still sick, so I'm not going to be able to explain everything exactly how I would like to. Uh, my voice hurts, I'm sniffling, I'm coughing, and it hurts to swallow. So, I'm going to be a little more quiet than I normally am, but I'm going to try to explain everything to the best of my ability while remaining to be a little sick. So one of the things that we have to do here is we're going to create another um, static, but this time it's going to be a public static, and we're just going to name it our main class, which is main, and we're going to name it plugin, and we're going to leave it there. And then down here in our um, on enable, we are going to do plugin equals this. So just like we did with the landmines originally. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to get our configure file pretty easily through other classes and be able to set up the ability to get it from other classes and from our configure file. Now we're going to go ahead and change one of our uh, send messages to a config file. So we're going to do we're going to start off the same way. We're going to do player .send message, and then this is where everything's going to change. We are going to get our main class by doing main. We're going to get our plugin by doing plugin, and then we're going to get our config by doing get config. And we're going to get a string in our config by doing get string, which is going to be the first one, not the second one. Then you're going to do quotation marks, and whatever's inside the quotation marks is what we're going to have in our configure file. For this, we'll name it tutor tutor tutori eh, tutorial message will be our string name. So that's all you have to do for this. We can get rid of our, our we can we'll highlight out our original currently. Um, so why don't we go ahead and go to our configure file and create this string, shall we? So we go to our configure file, this is our config file, and we're going to create what we did. So we, we named it tutorial message, and then we are going to do the dot, and then we are going to do quotation mark, and then we're going to put down what, um, the message is, and it can be said, uh, We'll just copy the original message we already had. You do not have permission to run this command. Oh, this is our no permission message. Okay. So why don't we sync this up? I'm a little tired. We'll do no no permission. And then we'll go back here and type no permission. And we're going to use color codes. And in a minute, we'll set it up in our, in our file. So it allows color codes. And we'll do that. That's all you have to do. So we have... We'll do a, uh, we'll make it bold as well. Then if we go back to our, um, eh, our tutorial command here, we're going to change something up a little. We're going to do player.send message, um, but right before we do our no permission message here, we are going to do something. We are going to do chat color dot translate, tra translate alternate color codes. Um, inside that bracket, you're going to do uh, this put the and symbol and then do comma and it remove my main so it's translate I'll make this full screen translate chat color dot translate alternate color codes then you put the <sighs> forgot what these things are it's the one line not the quotation mark but the uh, apostrophe that's the name of it apostrophe and sign apostrophe comma main dot plugin and then you're gonna add another um, quote thing I mean um, bracket at the end so your final thing is player dot send message cat color alternate tra translate alter color codes what this is saying it's saying is you're gonna translate the um, code the color code we have in our configure file here which is and CNL to the actual thing and then all you have to do once again is you if you would wish you can change your project version in your palm.xml or whatever you're using and you can build the project so why don't we build this project and I'm gonna load up a server and we'll see how we go so we have gone ahead and dragged in our updated plugin into our uh, server and we're gonna go ahead and start it up here once it starts up we're gonna make sure there's no errors in console um, and you see there's not it says it's been enabled so we are all good there in the next episode i will talk about um how you can create like messages that show when everything starts up in your console and everything that will be episode number 11 uh episode number 12 actually 
coming out in the next few weeks. Um, so if we go ahead and join our server, um, you can see that everything seems to be working. Our plugins enabled in slash PL and everything. And if we run our command slash tutorial one, oh God, slash tutorial, uh, it says you got free stuff. Now, if we de opt myself here, and I try to run the command, it says you do not have permission to run this command. So you can see it's working exactly how we designed it to work. Exactly how we designed it to work. Isn't that surprising? So why don't we go ahead and, so if I delete that again and I reload, you'll see that I, just, <laughs> I don't have permission to reload the server, but you'll see that I can change the message inside the config file. So I could change it to be blue. And if I reload, and I run the command, it's now blue. So you can see we've successfully made a config file that um, creates colors. So we could do, let's make it back red again, and we'll reload again. And it's back to red. So you can see it successfully created this. We've successfully created our config file, and we are all good to go for the configs. Now, next up, the next time we're going to, the next tutorial will be learning how to set up your console messages on start um, and then after that we'll be using our config file to use integers to create titles and stuff um, is the next episodes and if you have suggestions for what you want to see please let us know I would be happy to help out and um, create tutorials on stuff you guys want to see as well just leave them down in the comments I'll be happy to create one for you um, thank you so much for watching today's video make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video and I'll see you in the next video goodbye